So we're here with the Kerr Stack here. You're showing the twin torque. And uh, who are you? Well, I'm Lester Ulston. I'm CEO of Kerr's Tech. Uh, we're based in Beaverton, Oregon, and we've developed a new kind of uh, electric motor for electric vehicles, which combines hydraulic and electric motors in a single unit. Uh, and the reason is that uh, hydraulics are three times more efficient at energy recovery and at energy reusage than electric motors at lower speeds. So at low speeds, we recover electric energy hydraulically to launch the vehicle without using the battery. And if you don't use the battery, you're then preserving battery energy for range. So it says right here, up to 40% extended EV range. That's is that true? That is correct. On f but it all depends upon the drive cycle. So our target market of slower moving vehicle, vehicles with frequent stop and start drive cycles, like city buses, refuse trucks, forklift trucks, uh, com container trucks, airport tugs. These are slow moving vehicles that stop and start frequently because every stopping event is an energy recovery event. Uh, and the more energy you recover, the more energy you're saving. And that's, that, that's done better using hydraulic? Hydraulics are three times more efficient, as I said, than electric motors at energy reusage. The round trip energy recovery of kinetic energy from a vehicle is only 25% with electric only systems. With hydraulic systems, it's 75%. Uh, electric uh, systems uh, are, are very energy lossy. They lose a lot of energy uh, in engine conversion losses, in battery losses, whereas uh, hydraulic systems just aren't. And what do you show here? It shows how it is inside, or? This is a, a, in a prototype motor system. That, uh, one of the picture on the left, is the uh, internals of our hydraulic motor, and the right is an electric ring motor. And we've combined the two. Our patents cover an electric, uh, an electric motor, that's the green section, surrounding a hydraulic motor. Uh, nice. And we have international patents based on that. So hydraulic motors uh, by themselves, where are they? Are they uh, lots oh. of places? Oh, uh, hydraulics are one of the most um, well-proven, established technologies. They're in everything. Uh, you'll find them in, uh, in, in forklift trucks, which raise and lower the forks. Uh, in your garbage truck where it picks up the, uh, the garbage. Uh, they're in, in elevators. Uh, gee, hydraulic motors are everywhere. But they, they are not used to move uh, cars forward, right? Oh, yeah. in certain applications they are. There already are a number of diesel hydraulic uh, trucks and buses uh, in operation. And so uh, you have a video here also. Uh, what are you showing the video here? Well, uh, in this particular part of the video, we're just showing the uh, components yeah. which are, are, are currently yeah. inside a, a, a forklift truck um, for testing purposes. Those components, as you can see there, are now in the, in the forklift truck and they're being so tested as we speak. So would you just like go to a forklift truck or a bus and change one module? And no. No, 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 no. Um, we don't convert vehicles. We sell to uh, original equipment uh, vehicle manufacturer. So a bus manufacturer would uh, work with us to develop a motor system for their bus, and then they would install our, our motor system in place of the of what they currently use. So what's the status right now for your technology? Uh, um, is this the first time you'd show it at the trade show or no? Yes, this is, yeah. this is the first time, uh, outside of Oregon anyway. We've been, at, we've been at a number of trade shows in Oregon. This is the first time outside of Oregon. And uh, what's next? What's going to happen now? What's next? Well, uh, we will be in production for a range of forklift trucks in the next three years. At the same time, we're working with two bus manufacturers to develop a, a, bus, a city bus size motor for them. And once we've done, uh, got that done, we'll look at, at other markets that, where we can use the existing motor systems, probably shuttle buses uh, and uh, refuse trucks. So ID Tech X, I think they say that uh, the EV market, the biggest potential, the biggest the quantity is probably going to be in the bus, right? Absolutely. So you are right there for the bus market, making it the range 40% longer. Exactly. Or For normal bus or, rides. Yes, or, which is just as important, if you're quite happy with the bus range, right, you can then use a battery which is 35 to 40% smaller. And therefore you're saving a lot of money on the bus, on, on the batteries. Battery, bus batteries are very expensive. A bus battery costs over $100,000 and only well, lasts seven or eight years. So you'll need two of those big expensive batteries in the life of a bus. Whereas if, with our system, you can get 
uh, you can use much smaller batteries and because you're not using the batteries for low speed uh, yeah. launch acceleration, the batteries last longer, they stay, they stay stronger for longer. So they last longer than the seven years that other batteries do? Exactly, you can extend the life of the battery and that's a cost saving too. So um, I guess all the bus manufacturers, they're all going crazy about your technology or well, not are crazy you talking yet. to some of them? We're talking to a number of them right now. And uh, more can just contact you. But this is not for con uh, consumer cars, right? At this point, no. Uh, because the drive cycle of a consumer car isn't really conducive to what, to getting the best out of our motor system. You need a frequent stop and start drive cycle. And most cars don't stop and start, uh, you know, uh, two or three times a mile. So that's going to be a greener London with all these big buses. They need to get into your technology. All Absolutely. everywhere this bus. A greener Beijing, a greener London, a greener Paris. Hopefully, uh, Los Angeles. Yeah.